Good evening, everyone. It's still considered a possible abduction attempt of a 12-year-old girl, but it has people in Clintonville looking over their shoulders tonight. And police have just released more information about the suspects. Now, this all happened on Saturday night around 9.15, and that's when officers say the driver of a dark blue pickup truck grabbed the girl. She was walking east on 1st Street between Maine and Morning Glory. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus has the new details tonight. The streets and signs are the same in Clintonville, but a possible abduction attempt has changed the feelings of safety. In some households, even the rules. Home earlier, walking more groups, not by yourself, not out after dark for sure, because you don't know what's going to happen. Clintonville police now have a description of the man involved. He's in his 20s with a deep voice and goatee type beard. Officers say he grabbed the wrist of the 12 year old girl late Saturday and asked if she wanted to go to a party. He was driving a dark blue pickup with one man and two women inside. She felt afraid. Uh, she's still pretty uh, shook up. I spoke to her mom this morning and she's still pretty shook up about it. Police Chief Terry Lorge says earlier that evening, eight young people, including the 12 year old, got into a confrontation with those in the truck. Though no one involved could tell police exactly what was said. Officers say the kids were together hanging out near Buchholz Park but split up to walk home. The 12 year old was headed this way on 1st Street when she saw the truck again with its lights off. She was genuinely afraid and uh, was able to pull away and, and leave. Now we don't know if these people were just trying to scare her as a result of the earlier confrontation or if it was an attempt at abduction. Until they know for sure, officers will keep investigating as parents keep a watchful eye. I'm actually kind of scared to walk outside. Katie Torres was in the group of eight and talked with police. Her mom says it was a difficult experience for her daughter. She gave them descriptions and stuff, but she was kind of quiet. She was crying a lot. And it, so that hurt. Officers have stopped several vehicles matching the truck's description and are prepared to stop more. We need to find that truck and find the people that were involved. In Clintonville, Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. And police say they are also beefing up patrols in that area, specifically near the public pool and park. The 12 year old and her family say they're still shaken by the experience and do not wish to comment yet.